Welcome back. Well, this morning I'm joined by Kate Turner, who's the Director of Dining Services for Nagani and Ishpeming Public Schools. Now, uh, we've been working with Ashley this morning talking about packing lunches. Now, you've been actually, you're here to talk to us this morning about a cool opportunity for you guys to provide um, meals for the students at school and uh, through the elect electronically, too, which was kind of neat for me to find out about. Yes, this year we are, uh, for Nagani and Ishpeming Public Schools, along with the INN Community Schools, we are providing services for families so they can log on um, through sendmoneytoschool.com to manage their kids' accounts. They can set spending limits. They can um, sign up for daily email balanced reminders, which is really handy, especially if you're like me and you forget <laughs> that you, it's been a week since you paid for your students' lunch. Um, but you can also visit uh, lunchapp.com and now you can fill out any free and reduced uh, forms, applications online. So you don't have to worry about them getting lost in your <laughs> student's backpack or in the bottom of the locker. Um, and they come right to me in your desk. It's really fast, it's uh, confidential, and it cuts your application time down to about two days right now. Wow, that yes. sounds like a pretty, pretty big deal there. And yeah. um, so kind of making school lunches easier for everyone, it sounds like. We are trying to make them more accessible, um, a lot friendlier. There's been a lot of regulation changes, and a lot <laughs> of the kids have been like, oh, gosh, what is this green thing on my plate? <laughs> but um, it's really important for the kids to have a healthy, balanced meal. It really gets them started off on a good way. And we try to make school lunch, uh, it's an important part of their day because they get to talk to their friends. Right. We know that it's important <laughs> for them to eat. We know that they need to be fueled up. But what they really want is give me something for my belly because I'm going to go and sit with my friends <laughs> and I get a half an hour where my teacher's not over my shoulder. So it's really, <laughs> it's about making the experience fun for kids. This year, Nagani and Ishpeming have uh, homemade pizza for Whoa. all of our schools. Yep. Uh, so that's a, a new and exciting thing. We have a new emphasis, emphasis on breakfast. So there will be a lot more breakfast promotions going on. There might be some contests coming up with breakfast okay. meals. Um, and then we're going to have a lot more fun, fresh food coming out. And I'm hoping in the winter to get in touch with some local chefs and bring them in and do some chef to school events so kids can see some of the great things we have going on in the community. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun changes coming to lunch. I always enjoyed lunch. I, I still enjoy lunch, just about any meal, really. I wouldn't mind if you guys pr could provide it for me. I know yeah, probably fun. can't do that. But <laughs> for those who can get involved in it, how, how, just a reminder, how again can they sign up? Who should sign up? Just anybody? We would love it if every family in the Nagani and Ishpeming school districts would fill out a lunch form for us. If you have no income, if you make a million dollars a year, <laughs> please visit the website, fill out the forms, contact me if you have any questions. It is a great resource for everybody in the community to use and we really, really hope that everybody will. All right, Kay. Well, I want to thank you for coming in this morning, talking about these fun changes coming to the lunch and breakfast for all the, the kids out there in Nagani and Ishpeming Public Schools. And it's got me thinking about lunchtime, at least getting eating. So I want to thank you again for coming in this morning. You're welcome. And uh, after the break, we check in with Ashley Kirkland talking about packing some lunches.